Hello, and welcome to the video. Here's the question we have. We've been asked to graph an equation by hand, and the equation we're looking at is y equals 7. So you might notice when you first look at the equation that it doesn't have all the pieces of some of the equations we've been used to looking at. It only has the variable y in it, and it just has a single number, 7. It's telling us y equals 7. So what we want to do is depict on the coordinate plane what it looks like when y equals 7. And there's a couple ways we can do that, but if you're looking at it and feeling stuck, one thing you can always begin by doing is just going back to that idea of a cheat table. Anytime you're asked to graph any equation by hand, we can set up a list of x values, leave some space to do our calculations, and then put in our y values. And remember, when we set this up, we can choose any values we like for x. And unless we have an equation with fractions in it or something interesting happening, often a good choice is just to choose x equals 0, 1, and 2. But remember, you can choose anything you like there. And then I like to write my equation here, y equals 7. Now, ordinarily, this equation is going to have something to do with x. So I'm going to take the x that I picked, 0, and substitute it into my equation and find out what y is. But this equation doesn't care what x is. It's saying, yep. Doesn't matter what x is, y is going to be 7. So if x is 0, well, the equation tells me y is still 7. If x is 1, yep, y is still 7. And if x is 2, there we go, y is 7. So we've got our three ordered pairs here, 0, 7, 1, 7, and 2, 7. Once we have three ordered pairs, we can graph those on our coordinate plane. So 0, 7, 0 is my x coordinate. Now go up to 7 for my y coordinate. So there's the point 0, 7. Now the point 1, 7. So I go to 1 in the x direction and 7 in the y direction. And now the point 2, 7. So I go to 2 in the x direction, 7 in the y direction. I'm clearly seeing a straight line pattern there, so I can connect those with a straight edge. Draw a line connecting those three points. Remembering to put arrows on both ends. And it's nice to draw your line to take up as much as possible of that coordinate plane, and then label the name of the line next to it. The name of the line is the equation you use to graph it, so the name of this line is y equals 7. So if you look at that line that we've graphed now, you might notice it's kind of a special line. It's an absolutely flat line. We call that a horizontal line. And that's generally a general rule that will always be true. If our equation doesn't have an x in it, if our equation only has y's, then the line we graph will always be a flat horizontal line, and it will pass through the vertical axis of y at 7, or at the constant given. So an equation of the form, we can say the equation y equals, let's use the variable c to represent any number there, any number you want. If your equation just looks like y equals some number, the graph, so the equation y equals c has a horizontal line. Oh. Passing through zero comma c as the graph. Maybe a better way to say that would be to say to graph the line y equals c, draw a horizontal line passing through 0, c. In other words, a quicker way to graph this, now that we know that rule about horizontal lines, would be to look at it, start at the problem and look at it and say, oh, there's no x in there. There's no x in the equation. So that tells me the graph will be a horizontal line meaning a flat line, and to draw it out, I just go to the point they told me. They told me y equals 7. So go find y equals 7. There's y equals 7 on my y-axis if I have 7. And now draw my horizontal line. So that would be another way, a quicker way, to obtain the graph of the line if you remember the rule that when there's no x in the equation, the graph will always be a horizontal line. 